Hello and welcome to The Brief, where we bring you key economic developments of Apple in the previous week and key activities to watch in the new week. It is the third full week of September 2022 and August 2022 headline inflation rate of 20.52% for Nigeria increases the socioeconomic stability risk in the country as citizens grapple with rising food costs, hike in the rates of services and challenging indicators. For the key socioeconomic events from last week, operationalizing the Petroleum Industry Act, declaring a national emergency on crude oil theft and focus on gas as the development of Nigeria's transition to renewable energy are key steps that must be taken to position the oil and gas industry in Nigeria. Engineer Tony Atta, the former CEO of Nigerian liquefied natural gas company, made this point as a keynote speaker at the 14th PSRG Richardson XSSC Forum in Lagos. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's headline inflation for August 2022 rose to 20.54%, while food inflation also rose to 23.12%, which was 2.82% higher compared to the rate recorded in August 2021, which was 20.30%. This rise in the food inflation was caused by increases in prices of bread and cereals, food products, potatoes, yam and other tuber, fish, meat, oil and fat. The World Bank in its statement stressed the need for policymakers to navigate a narrow path that requires a comprehensive set of demand and supply side measures. On the demand side, monetary policy must be employed consistently to restore in a timely manner price stability, while for fiscal policy there is need to prioritize medium-term debt sustainability while providing targeted support to vulnerable groups. For the week ended 16 September 2022, the key market highlights revealed the following. The equities market recorded negative performance while the listed equities market NGX ASI recorded a loss of minus 0.44% week-on-week and the NAZ OTC closed negative with a minus 2.03% loss. The INE FX rate closed negative and an FX rate closed flat. The BDC rates closed positive. The Brent crude oil price and West Texas Intermediate crude oil price moved up at the end of the week. The FMDQ debt market size closed negative, while the FX ACI closed positive, same with the AI index for the last week. On what to expect from the markets this week published by ProShare, from the money markets, ProShare analysts expect the interbank rate to increase this week as the FGM bond primary market auction will mop up liquidity. For the Treasury bills market, analysts expect a bearish outcome this week as the recently released inflation figures weigh on investors' decision. In the secondary market, ProShare analysts expect a tepid market this week as attention will be diverted to the FGM monthly bond primary auction. Looking at the economic, financial, and capital market events to watch in this week. On Monday, September 19, 2022, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry will host an economic discourse with the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. Time for the event is 1.30 p.m. The Nigeria Exchange Limited, in partnership with Stambic IBTC, will host the Securities Lending Forum webinar on Tuesday, September 20, 2022. The time for the event is 10 a.m. And some of the key speakers include Dr. Kichiku Omeno, Chief Economist, Security and Exchange Commission, and Mr. Jude Chemeka, Divisional Head, Capital Markets, Nigeria Exchange Limited. On Wednesday, September 21st, the Champions of Talent Development Conference will host its two day 2022 event with the theme Talent Engage Return. Keynote speakers include Mrs. Ajibola Ponle, Commissioner for Establishment Lagos State, Professor Femi Peters, Vice Chancellor of the National University, and General Isha Kupenap, retired PhD Chairman, Babiskola Systems Nigeria Limited. Third quarterly edition of the Economic Associates One Day Nigeria Economic Outlook Conference is scheduled for Thursday, September 22nd, with Dr. Ayo Teriba as facilitator of the event. Time for the event is 9 a.m. Also on the same date, the 2022 Women Directors Annual Conference of the Institute of Directors will hold discussing the theme Facing Forward, the Evolving Nature of Boards in a Rapidly Changing World. Time is 9 a.m. and the venue is Ecobank Pan African Center, Victoria Island. Still on the same date, the Business Recovery and Insolvency Practitioners Association of Nigeria will organize the 2022 International Conference themed Insolvency, Restructuring and Economic Development at the Federal Palace Hotel, Victoria Island, Lagos. And that will be all for this edition of The Brief. You can join our website, www.proshow.co to read the latest news stories, reports, and watch out for our videos. Don't forget, ProShare has released a latest report on the anatomy of critical theft, understanding the graft, implications, and impact. It's a must-read report. Thank you for watching. Have a great week, and please stay safe.